I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. China is dealing with rising COVID cases and more lockdowns. And there's concern the issues could threaten to disrupt manufacturing and trade. The industry experts are watching to see if it will create more backlogs at Chinese export terminals and add to supply chain issues here in the U.S. But there is some good news to report on the processing of all of those ships backlogged at West Coast ports. The Marine Exchange of Southern California is saying there are now 43 container ships in a backup off the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles. The U.S. Drought Monitor shows more than 61% of the contiguous U.S. is in some sort of drought. That's the largest percentage since 2012, when the U.S. saw an all-time record of 65% of the country in drought. And the problem has increased over the past few weeks, with drought coverage increasing nearly 170,000 square miles for the first time ever, authorities in Utah managed to capture a live wolverine. The animal was spotted during livestock air patrols feeding on sheep. 18 sheep had already been killed or wounded. Experts say prior to the animal's entrapment, there had only been eight confirmed wolverine sightings in the state in more than 40 years. Biologists fitted the wolverine with a GPS collar and re-released it into the wild. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on the station or anytime at agweb.com.